phantomstar.com, Twitter, YouTube, Podomatic, and iTunes. This is brought to you by Lou Crate and Tweet Audio. Now it's time for the Guys Night Podcast! <laughs> Step in the and what do you find? So many movies, not enough time. Action, thriller, horror, comedy, even foreign documentaries. So there's something out there new to review. We try to step it up with a G and crew. Better prepare, walk on to Step in the theater, what will you find? So many movies, not enough time. Action, horror, thriller, comedy, foreign documentaries. Welcome to Guys Night. Guys Night. All right, so we just got out of King Arthur. Mighty Scroll says, <clears throat> starring Charlie Hunnam, who magically becomes a girl in the beginning and then transforms into a beautiful, luxurious boy. Jude Law, Eric Bannon, Damien Huntsman, Adrian Galilian, Katie McGrath, Hermione Cloverfield, and Freddie Fox, to name a few. So the movie itself is an adaptation of King Arthur's Round Table. It's basically the essence and the origin of how he comes to be. Um, Jude Law plays the uncle, and by, by far he's probably the top-notch performance. The actor who does perform King Arthur is a very realistic, down-to-earth character. I love the cues. Guy Ritchie's handprints are definitely on this. Uh, you feel the cinematic feel, the sound. I have to praise the sound. Uh, the way it looks is beautiful. There are moments in the movie, like action set pieces, that are just so groundbreaking. And story-wise, in the editing, it's very choppy, but in a good way. Um, I love how the characters, are, they're all likable. There's one dull moment in this. Because of that, I'm going to give the Knights of King, well, King Arthur and the Legend of the Sword a 3 out of 4. Alright, we just got out of King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, and I have to say, it is probably one of the better action movies this year. I mean, I was pretty impressed because I walked into this thinking I'm going to be displeased. Um, acting wise, I would say Charlie Hunnam did a good job, but Jude Law is perfect as a villain. I don't understand why he's perfect as a villain, but he's shitty as a uh, normal actor. Yeah. Visually, Guy Ritchie is great. It's stunning with the CGI, kind of, you know, questionable. But um, all in all, I would have to say I'm going to keep this short and sweet. The movie is pretty good. I mean, what can I say? I mean, swords, no sandals. Witchcraft, wizardry, I don't know. What do you want to call it? The movie's good. I would give it a three out of four. For the record, also, we're going to say this for both. Because I noticed this. Michael Fassbender and Jude Law are not the same people. Even though they yeah, look yeah, similar. yeah. Yeah, they don't look similar at all. No. 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 Okay. And Assassin's Creed sucked. Damn. <laughs>